All right, jumping into another token analysis today, and that is Phantom and what is happening around the Phantom Network. My name is Paul Barron. Welcome back to Tech Path. Today, we're jumping in quickly on Phantom and really some of the latest news that has been rolling into where Phantom is going, why the price is surging, and can it continue? We've done some analysis through what we've got here on River Labs that basically gives us sentiment as well as our amplification numbers, some interesting stuff. So stick around for the chart review toward the end of the video. I want to jump to this first story, Yearn Finance. As you guys know, uh, signals multi-chain entrance with the launch of the Phantom on Phantom's network. So taking its first steps into the multiverse after announcing its integration with Phantom Network. Let me zoom in up on that right there. A pillar of DeFi. Yearn began an automated yield aggregator offering users the highest yields of their assets across Ethereum. Instead of manually moving cryptocurrencies from protocol to protocol in the hunt for the best rate, Yearn kind of does it all automatically through its Earn product. So that's been kind of the killer app for Yearn and why it is so valuable and also why it's killing on the DeFi uh, side of things. And of course, it, it really gets into these more exotic yield generating strategies m versus the traditional you know, deposits that you might do there. But before today's announcement, these services were exclusive only to Ethereum. That's the big thing here. Now they're rolling out on the Phantom Network, the realm of multi-chain beckons, and Yearn has heeded the call, and that's kind of what they're, uh, which I love this little uh, graphic right here. The realm of multi-chain beckons, and Yearn has heeded the call. Today we go multi-chain with the launch of Iron Bank Phantom, the first Phantom Vaults on beta.yearn.finance. So check that out. The other thing that I continue to be, um, and we've, you know, we've talked about Phantom on the show before and on the network, and we've been a big fan of what they've been doing, mainly because of just some of the protocols that and projects that they're aligned with, but obviously with Yearn Finance being the first DeFi, this could really open up the DeFi channels, I think, to move off the Ethereum chain and move into some alternatives like what Phantom is doing. When you look at performance of Phantom, and I just want to jump to their technology, but they've got this thing called Phantom or FTM Scan. Uh, it's a network explorer. They've got their multi-chain uh, bridge. The projects, you can kind of see some of the projects that are on it, Waves. We've also done a show and a, an analysis on the graph, uh, brand pro or band pro protocol, REN, and then of course Chainlink, which we're big fans of. Chainlink now moving a little bit more here recently. Again, all of this is built around what Phantom is trying to do in terms of scalability and, of course, speed of processing, speed, security, and scalability. That's the thing that most of the chains have a problem with is, though they can scale, a lot of times the secure capable element of these chains are the things that are in question because many times when you're building so fast, in many cases, you're also building with a little bit of haphazardness, meaning you're cutting corners on security. And I tell, believe me, I've been in development for 25 years. I know how developers work. They have to try to achieve the project goal. And in many cases, to achieve the project goal, they have to cut a few corners and security is usually one of the first places. That's where Phantom is the big leader here. And that's why I think this is going to be one of those that really stays around and starts to move very quickly. I also want to jump over to this analysis right here that talks a little bit about Phantom and why it's going up. Also known as the Ethereum killer. There's also many Ethereum killers out there. Been in the crypto global market for a long time. Phantom is basically a platform that allows its users to build decentralized apps and also create NFT tokens. So both a DApp developer. And because of the recent success on this platform, Platform, its cryptocurrency value has also had a pretty big rise according to data compiled by DeFi Llama. I want to show you about DeFi Llama's uh, position on this one. Phantom has now become the fifth biggest platform in the industry with a total market of a TVL of all apps built on the Phantom crossing uh, the $3.8 billion mark. So it's not shocking to see the price of the currency obviously moving up. Currently, it's a constant rise and total market cap has grown to almost a little over $4 billion. So this is a real player now with what's happening in terms of where and what projects. With Yearn coming in from the DeFi side, this really opens up some channels, I think, especially as Yearn starts to really kind of capitalize on this. I like Yearn Finance also because of this move. Maybe we should take a look at that, and I want to, maybe we should drop, let me know in the comments, should we do a deep dive on Yearn Finance? Because we haven't done one 
in a while, and I think this would be a good time to revisit that project, take a look at some of the latest developments, and also kind of where sentiment and amplification is going. So drop in the, in the comments below if you want us to get in a little deeper on yearn. And that's another thing. In the comments, give us the projects and the tokens that you're interested in. That's usually how we'll try to roll into that. And we'll either do it here on the show or we'll pop it into our member-only side, which is the Diamond Circle. Diamond Circle is the place you want to go for some really cool things. The number one thing that we do in the Diamond Circle is we give back to our community. We give away digital rewards, and we're going to do that in the way of tokens, maybe some ICOs, well, not maybe, ICOs uh, and IDOs, should say, IDOs that are coming your way along with other uh, assets, digital assets. So we'll probably drop some NFTs in there, but the only way you can, of course, get involved is to join. It's absolutely free to join, so just visit paulbarronnetwork.com and join the Diamond Circle, and you'll start sending, catching a couple of emails, but you'll also be in that roster of people that we'll look to to start dropping, uh, airdropping uh, digital rewards back to. We're going to do those in the live stream, by the way. So I want to jump over to DeFi Llama and their dashboard just to take a look at where the chain uh, protocols, of course, are currently uh, setting. Right now, we've got uh, Ethereum holding at 252 protocols. And you can kind of see their total, total value locked right there, 150, almost 150 billion, 142. Then you've got Binance coming in, Solana coming in at 10 billion, uh, currently 23 protocols. And then right there, number four is Phantom. At 37, this is going to build, if you look at their change right here, this is why we've seen the move on their token. But also, look how close they are to Solana in terms of their total value lock. This is another reason why Phantom may actually be still undervalued. And even though we have seen massive movement on Phantom, it's a possibility that this token could still be undervalued. The project itself has got a huge vertical upside now, much like what Solana does. And I would compare Phantom now maybe coming to the table of the Knights of the Round Table with Avalanche, Algorand, Solana, and now Phantom, maybe really making a big play and moving into the next level. I want to jump over to trade the or excuse me, trading view and take a look back at this sentiment run because this sentiment run is the one that was interesting to me. Here we pulled a bubble back in the middle of September. Sentiment was hovering around 57.81 amp. Very low, 51.08. That is not a great amplification score. This again is all pre-release of what was happening behind the scenes at Phantom along with many of the other protocols that are starting to look at that multi-chain capability. And when you look at this sideways action, I think a lot of people got maybe uh, discouraged by phantom and, and that's okay because that's the thing you have to do and and one thing you have to understand and when you're investing in many of these projects that are long burns and then all of a sudden they pop avax was one algorand was one even solana to a certain extent had long burns and it took a while for those projects to get feet under them and really start to launch into the next layer they, even though it wasn't that long, if you think about it, it's September 20th, and here we are, the next sentiment bubble we pulled right here was October 3rd, just a few weeks later, and look at the difference here, 7206, jumping sentiment, and an amplification score of 7319. Again, a flip that occurred, and we're seeing that a lot with these altcoins. Certain altcoins, amplification has start to outperform sentiment and that is a rarity and when we see that as you guys know watching this channel maybe this is the first time you've jumped in our analysis takes sentiment and amplification it's a technology that we've been developing for years to track amplification on on brands we plugged in apis from many of the crypto platforms and exchanges and essentially are utilizing that tool to analyze what's being done in the social metaverse so to speak around sentiment. And this is where uh, we see these things uh, really kind of develop around amplification. But 73.19 amplification. And then right there you see it. The explosion occurred. And that's where we're setting essentially right here from October 6th through the October 8th, the last two days, this kind of movement. Everybody's asking, is this the end or is Phantom maybe taking a parabolic run 
in terms of the alt. I believe Phantom is. We are still early on where Phantom is going. Now, there are some concerns in this, and I want you to be aware of this. You get these troughs like this, and occasionally those do come in in our data. It does show that that could be a correction, and it also aligns with some other things that are happening on Bitcoin and in general cryptocurrency sentiment as a whole that we layer into our analysis when we look at data. So there is a potential trough right here, and then you also have a potential trough right in here, but you've got a little bit of an upside move that is tracking right here with this section of where Phantom is holding right now. Our long term out to around the 17th of October is pointing in around a $3.15 high and a low here of around 271, so not too much off the par at currently trading at 235. So do you get in is the question. If you are a long-term believer on what Phantom is doing and you, much like what some people are doing with uh, both Avalanche and also Solana right now, because I think Avalanche is still set to move, take another parabolic move. Uh, Solana most likely is gonna have another major push. And there are still a lot of investors coming in at that. Now, this is not gonna be one of those altcoins that's going to 2 to 5 to 10x for you. But if we do see Phantom go vertical, go parabolic, could this go into, and I want to look at this back here. If you look at there, really this Phantom is, is really flying at this point because of the late break in what they've done uh, really in the last few, few weeks and months. So I feel like this might be an early, early move for Phantom and where this is going. And just because of the, the projects that have really kind of come around it and coalesced around it, this is one I think I would still put in my roster. And I own Phantom, full disclosure. It's one that I've held for a, a past, really the past month when it took that last correction, uh, which was back in, looks like around September 15th, that last correction. That was really a good spot for you guys to get in. Of course, now we're, we're looking at where this might go. I think with all the things that are happening with the, the project, all the things that are happening with the token itself is a, a great opportunity here. So definitely keep your eye on this one. If you're maybe looking for just one of those tokens to kind of pack into your altcoin and look for maybe a 2X, this might be one of your top 10 that you could put into your portfolio. Maybe something like an Algorand or maybe even an Avalanche that would be similar to this. It has a little bit of a slow burn, some great opportunity to go up. However, we are going to be doing a video soon on these underperforming altcoins or very early projects that you should be watching and should be looking at because we are entering a very massive altcoin season. The data, the chain data is showing it. The sentiment analysis is, analysis is predicting what we are about to see is a massive altcoin season. And I think there's going to be some early projects they're gonna be in that five to 10X opportunity here for you. So make sure and stay tuned right here. And again, don't forget, Diamond Circle, join for free, simple, easy, jump into that. If you have something that you wanna talk about in uh, on the show, just drop it in the comments below. We love to get your feedback. It's the number one way we get uh, understanding from you guys. If you're listening in over on the podcast, you gotta jump in over here on the YouTube channel because this is where you're gonna see the charts it's where you're going to see all the great interviews and a lot more of our analysis on where the blockchain and also innovative technology markets are moving. If you want to reach me, just hit me up on Twitter, at Paul Barron. We'll catch you next time right here on TechPath.